How many times did your mother tell you to eat your vegetables? It was my mother's mantra, and my beet and goat cheese salad with pickled cherries is the perfect way to add fruits and vegetables to your diet. I know my mom would approve. Let's start by roasting our beets in a 375 degree oven. We'll drizzle some olive oil on top of the beets. I'm using a red and a golden beet. Red beets have a nice, deep, earthy flavor. The golden beets are a little milder and sweeter. Wrap your beets and place them on the baking sheet. We will roast these in the oven for about an hour to an hour and a quarter. I've just taken the beets out of the oven to check to see if they're done. I'm using a paring knife. When they go through the beet easily like this, they're ready. These pickled cherries, I think, take this recipe over the top. In a medium saucepan, I'm combining dried sour cherries, sugar, water, vinegar, and ground fennel. Stir that, bring that up to a simmer, remove from the heat, let it stand for about a half hour. When the mixture is cool, drain it, and then we'll discard the liquid. So now for the vinaigrette, in a saucepan over low heat, I'm adding cherry juice, ruby port, and honey. I'll simmer this until it's reduced by half. Be careful because it can reduce rather quickly. Then remove it from the heat. I've already poured my cherry port reduction into a mixing bowl. Now I'll add some Dijon mustard, some minced garlic, and the vinegar. Let's give that a good whisk. Now I'll slowly drizzle in and whisk the olive oil and a touch of salt and pepper. That's our vinaigrette. I've already peeled the beets, but I have a great trick. If you run your beets under cold water, the skins come off really easily. But a paring knife works just as well. I like to slice my beets, but you can also dice them. In a large mixing bowl, combine your arugula, crumbled goat cheese, the pickled cherries, drizzle your dressing, just enough to coat. Toss it until it's good and mixed, and then it's ready to serve. You can serve this delicious salad on a platter or individually plate it. Arrange your beets around the arugula, and there you have it. Enjoy.